Hello, and welcome to The Daily BM. I'm Mike, and on this episode, we will be discussing our reliance on GPS and how not to get caught as a serial killer. I hope you enjoy the episode, and remember to like and subscribe. Good morning, fuckers! It's another day at The Daily BM, and I have Michael with me. What's going on, brother? Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad to have you on Tech Talk Tuesday with myself and Mr. Bradley. So what you got for me today, Michael? I'm, I'm sure it's going to be super entertaining as usual. You know, the other day I was thinking, like, on technology we rely on, and sometimes maybe we rely on a little bit too much. Okay. And I realized over the last weekend that we rely on, I rely on GPS and my, my phone oh. maps way too much uh because we were when we were up in utah we, we were in an area where we didn't have any cell coverage and we had to find a wi-fi signal to be able to put it in the map to figure out how to, to know where the hell we were going to get home because neither one of us paid any attention driving in at all we just followed the gps and just just Wait where it told us. Didn't pay attention to street side or nothing. It's like turn right. We were so too we right. busy singing songs and windows down and enjoying the mountains and the weather. Next thing you know, where the fuck are we doing? <laughs> yeah, and I realized like you know like I didn't have a map. I didn't have any information. Like I would have known how to go anywhere, and there wasn't really a whole lot of people around to ask either. You know, um, no, there was nowhere, nothing <laughs> where we were. So at. it got me thinking. I'm just like, okay, how much? technology do we rely on on a daily basis i mean i remember growing up like i used to know all of my friends phone numbers i used to know like their addresses you know i used to know like street signs how to get places by landmarks um now it's you know i mean i know a couple people's phone number you know i know my wife's i know my kids i know yours um i can guesstimate yours but it's, uh other than that, you know, I, it's just people's faces and names on my phone. Like, I don't know their phone numbers. You know, it's like, <laughs> I'm like here, put it in my phone. Don't know how to remember it. And locations, it's just I plug it in the GPS and I just go. And I don't even I don't even think about where I'm driving. I just literally have conversations, just follow the map. And it's kind of wild when you think about it, how much technology has replaced certain things that we used to do naturally. You know, I really feel like technology has made us stupid smart, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's made us smarter, but stupid all at the same time because of the yeah. re rely the reliance on it. Uh, you know, I remember growing up, <laughs> and I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you had to hand crank your car. But, um, you know, I remember growing up. and uh, see, you, you, had, you had cars? I thought you had to feed your cars back then. <laughs> there were horses. Yeah, Fuck yourself. Fuck you, Tom Brady. No, but um, <laughs> but no, um, but no. Uh, my thing is, it's like you know, I remember my parents pulling out a map and sitting on the hood, you know, putting it on the hood of the car, and they're just mapping right. out where they had to go. There was none of this. Oh, uh, you know, hey Siri, give me this, that, or the other. It was straight up. You figured it out. Many arguments in the car. Uh, I think if anything, GPS cut down on the arguments, except for. When you have your lady in the front seat going like this, you missed. If you would have just listened, and you missed a turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bitch told you where to turn. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I don't. I don't normally get that. <laughs> you're bad about that shit, and then you're bad uh, about blaming it on the GPS. Ah, uh, uh, dude. Hey, you gotta admit. Oh, go fuck yourself. You know, coming out of Tampa International Airport, it is a clusterfuck to know where to get to I four from because it doesn't say anything about it. It just says take uh, Clearwater sixty. You know what I mean? So it gets you confused. Yeah, you, don't, you, take, you don't take clear, don't go to Clearwater. Clearwater's in the wrong direction. And then you're oh, just cutting you? up score like a motherfucker. Do not get me pissed off this morning, asshole. Did you try to run you. people off the road because you're in such an asshole mode? I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Brad, calm the fuck down. But so, you, know yes. what, you know what made me think about it was I was watching Star Trek Discovery. Mm -hmm. And this is actually for any Star Trek. If they didn't have the computer, they would be completely fucked because <laughs> every episode they're like hold on i gotta quiet my siri or my uh alexa speaking exactly. of which my, speaking my of alexa which is called computer in my office um every episode they have like a crisis and they're like computer figure out 
X, Y, and Z, and then it spits out the answer. They're like, okay, we can do this. You know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> like, I mean, they make it look like the people are smart because they like come up with the idea, but really they could have probably just gone like, computer, what's the easiest way to solve this problem? And it'd be like, no problem. <laughs> Initiating now, sit back and relax. I've got this. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> And that's what I meant, man. It makes us stupid smart. You know what I mean? It, it yeah. makes us more efficient. But I think it's dumbed us down a little bit. We don't. We're so reliant on the technology that we forget to do the things that you know we could do on our own. So yeah, one of my favorite the- one of my favorite quotes from Joe Rogan is it's one of this like from a comedy routine. He says, "Let me drop you off the woods with an axe to see how long it takes for you to send me an email." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's some truth to that statement, man, for sure. You know, he's got a he's got a point, bro. I mean, you know how many you know what's you know what's kind of fucked up. I know we're, and this is kind of sideways from technology, but you know what's kind of fucked up? Humanity as a whole, how it would respond in a, in a situation where an EMP blast would go off and we lost all our technology. Like, oh, well, I, I know exactly how it would be. Joe Rogan co- completely explained it in one of his comedy routines. I'd walk out of my house with guy across the street, walk out of his house. We look at each other and go, Hey, is your lights out? <laughs> yeah. Mine too. How about your TV? Yeah. Shit. All right. Go back inside. A couple <laughs> days later, come back. Hey, is your power still out? Yeah. <laughs> mine too. Okay. At least I didn't pay. At least I was not paying the bill. <laughs> we'll just sit around and wait until somebody else fixes this shit. <laughs> <laughs> And then, the- like, then, like a week and a half later, we have food that we devolve. We'll just start clubbing each other like baby seals, trying to steal each other's shit. <laughs> <laughs> ugh. Me, ugh. You'd see- <laughs> yeah, you'd see the worst of humanity come out during that crisis. But yeah, so you know, getting back to the maps yeah. thing. So you know, we were leaving like this uprising event, and basically, you know, you called it. We, we couldn't get that Wi-Fi signal. We had, I had no effing clue where to no. go. So driving back and forth down the street, trying to get a signal, trying to get yeah. the maps versus. I mean, I kind of had an inkling, attention. but I, I didn't trust myself enough to go in the route because I knew if we went to the church and took a left. That would take us out to that main road. But mm-hmm. I didn't know once we got to the main road, that which way Las Vegas was. Was it, is it left or right? You know, I'd assumed left, um, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I feel like I could have found our way out of there eventually. But I felt a whole lot better with the GPS when it was yeah, working. I was going to say, I felt a whole <laughs> lot better than taking your word for it because there's a lot of mountains and there wasn't a lot of shit around. You know what I mean? No. So it was like, uh, but you know, it, it did tell me something though. You know, again, yep. you are you have to pay attention to landmarks and you have to kind of maybe write shit out a little bit in your mind or on a piece right. of paper that says, hey, I made a right on, you know, 36. Hey, I made a left on this. And then you could follow it reversed on the way back. If you had a problem where you lost your technology, I mean, I think that's what happens to a lot of people. They get out in themselves in a bad situation because they relied on the technology versus thinking of the survival skills themselves to to uh, to get it done. You know who really lost out on the uh, the technology boom of the cell phone and GPS? Who? The rapists and the murderers. <laughs> Jesus. And the okay. robbers. All right, so you just took this to a to a whole nother level. Explain. Okay, I don't. I, I don't know if you watch like murder shows and stuff. My wife likes to watch murder shows, and I kind of, I kind of have to watch them every once in a while with her. Which they give me the major EBGBs, and when I get done watching them, I just don't trust anything or nobody. But mm-hmm. back in like the eighties and early nineties and seventies, like people would have to like they would get lost, and they would have to stop at payphones to like call people, and they would have to stop and get maps, and then stop and ask for directions. And that is usually when they got abducted. You know, they'd be in some strange place, strange area. They'd be at a payphone, and someone would come up behind them and abduct them because they'd be like, oh, look, there's a hot chick trying to call somebody for help at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Let me just nab her ass. Let me duct tape her to the seat. (laughs) Now with cell phones, like we were talking about the the, the, the last episode, on a past episode, you know, with the young lady that needed help, and everybody was like, well, she's got a cell phone. What does she need our help from? You know, it's like, you you don't you could call people while you're driving. You don't have to stop and call on a payphone if you're running late or if you know whatever the situation was, you know. And you have your phone that's giving you live directions as you're going, and it charges from the car. So unless you have a breakdown, there's really no reason to go like you know stop at 
pay phones or stop to get maps and stuff like that. I mean, you can stop at gas stations, but usually those are pretty well lit. And, you know, there's no issues because um, there's a bunch of people at the gas station doing the same thing, as opposed to like if you're in the middle of a town and you're lost, you got to pull over on a side street and look for a pay phone. And they're usually in the darker, you know, <laughs> more rapey area. And Wait, uh, <laughs> what's a more rapey area? <laughs> oh, you know, that, that it's that area that it's not very well lit. It's kind of off the beaten path, kind of secluded looking, got the little heebie jeebie vibes. Yeah, it's like it's got the rapey vibes. It's like that's a rapey Ra area. Rapey vibes. First time I've yeah. heard that to the rapey vibes. It's a, it's a rapey area. People know what I'm talking about, I think. I hope. Yeah, you, but, you, but you're you're right though. I, you know, I feel like you never get that. You know, like you're walking down the street and like you you look down an alley and you're like somebody died over there. Like or somebody like, will get vibe. killed. Yeah, like I've seen you know, this in a like, horror film. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm not going out like uh you know Thomas Wayne. Was it Tom? yeah Thomas Wayne Bruce Wayne's dad and mom? So I'm going down a back alley trying to take a shortcut. No man, we're going the long way. Should have worked yeah. on your cardio. Let's go. Yeah, anybody knows that if you've been to New York, you never cut down an alleyway ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anywhere. It's like, I don't think you cut down an alley yeah. anywhere. I yeah, don't trust the it, alleys here in Lakeland. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Wait, why did you get all get? Why did you get all shit? Yeah. <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> shit, man. You don't ever yeah. turn down that shit. All of a sudden, you got that's, black that's on just, me. That's, I was just wondering. No, because that's just street <laughs> smarts, man. That's like street smarts. That's just like, you know, if it looks sketchy, then avoid it. Like, it's not, let's not tempt fate just so that way we can skip out on a little cardio. <laughs> you know, it's with the, oh, poor serial killers. <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. Technology has completely ruined it for them, let me tell you. Yeah. I mean, here's my thing, man. I don't know how the, to, in the modern era, with technology and the way it is like how serial killers get away with it at all like i you know i don't even know if the serial killers are on the rise or the decline you know serial killings but i don't know how you get away with it with all the cameras all the technology that can snag you cell phone locations you know all the people are wearing watches information yeah all the tracking yeah. stuff you have on you now and... what are you gonna do when they start like tracking people and bedding it under their skin uh, cut mm -hmm. their arm off and then abduct them i mean you know, I mean that's what they do. That's what they do in futuristic movies. They normally cut the body part off and then just like leave. But I'll think about this scenario. Jeffrey Dahmer, you're embedded with a chip. He eats you. Now the <laughs> chip's in his colon. Snagged. <laughs> Done. His, col his colon's pinging like nine people. <laughs> they're, like, they're all right here. <laughs> what the fuck? And they're like and they, <laughs> right next to his asshole. Actually, you know? <laughs> actually what happened is they go. <laughs> right to a toilet they'd be like you'd be a fire like it's a pile of yeah. shit in the toilet and be like god damn it they're like okay no, so Billy, no! <laughs> why are you in the toilet all of a sudden it goes how do you <laughs> <laughs> they all come out man no but uh you know it, it, that's what i'm saying though it's like dna and all this stuff man you can get, right. i mean no pun intended you can get your ass nailed today i mean oh, it's yeah. like you, I, I just don't see why people think, hey, you know what? I really want to eat that guy or eat that chick. You know what I mean? She looks tasty. Let me kill her. With so much ways you can get caught now even but way again, more. But it adds a whole other level of, like, difficulty and challenge, too. So, ah, you know. You have a good you point, like, you know. If you, like, if you like a challenge, you know, it'd be like, all right, let's see. Let me get some, <laughs> R let me get some RF blocking stuff so I can block out the RF signal. I don't know what's scarier, the fact that you just started, like, breaking me, down how you could do it or what. <laughs> let me get an RF signal blocker, you know, shirt and yeah, pants, let me, you know. And... Yeah. No, I'll just line <laughs> your tongue. just line your trunk with RF blocking stuff so that when we throw them in there, it's gone. We in no way endorse or, or condone any activity you know, that might happen, yep. you know, with serial killers. And then, you know, you get a, get a you find, you, you steal somebody's dog and then you just put their, their wearable gadget on the dog and set the dog free. And let it run away with it so that way they're chasing the dog. Right now, some serial killer's taking notes going, I really love these guys. Mm, let me keep listening <laughs> to them. Let me keep listening. Keep talking, Michael. Yeah. Keep talking. So attach wearable devices to track on my animals, on their animals. Yeah. Let their animals free. Okay. Well, what's some right. other pointers, Mr. Serial Killer Wannabe? You got anything uh, else you want to enlighten see, the what world? I'd like, what, I, what, I, what I'd like to see happen is like go to like a public, real big public place. And just take a look at one of those mini, mini, like those little mini handheld vacs, you know, like the like the uh, keyboard vac, mm -hmm. and vacuum up just a whole bunch of DNA walking through the airport, like hair follicles, all sorts of shits, and just throw it all over the scene of the crime before you leave. 
So there's literally like hundreds of people's DNA there. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're if you're a serial killer or planning on being a serial killer, we're glad we could give you informative today and give you cliff notes on how to get away with shit. Um, yeah. But like I said, we don't uh, back these practices at all, right? Or do you? I don't know. Maybe no, you no, maybe but, you're no, a no, serial no, killer no. in waiting. I don't know. If no. I come up missing, please. It's Mike. well. That's all I'm gonna that's say. That's the first. That's the first rule of serial killing. You have to. It has to be a complete random act of violence. You can't be someone any any anywhere associated with you because that will get you caught. It has to be a complete you, stranger. You are literally scaring the shit out of me, dude. You've watched too many shows, <laughs> and you got way too many ideas, man. I, I can't even think of – see, I'd be the dumbass serial killer. I'd get caught immediately. Like, immediately i get caught. I'd do some dumb shit. They'd be like, this is how stupid he was. I'd be all like Grady Judd, or, you know, he'd be like, hey, this dumbass right here, he went ahead and left his wallet behind with his ID in it. That'd be the dumb shit I'd do. I'd drop my wallet or something. Hi. Yeah. Come get me. I live at so and so address. But Mike would be like, dun, 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 vacuum. Non traceable duct tape. Dun, dun, dun. You'd have this whole laundry list of shit. You would break it down analytically. That's what's scary. You remind me of that movie, Mr. Brooks. Dun, dun, dun. If you've never seen it, I would, I, would, I would wear clothes with gloves, have my gloves duct taped off so that way nothing would be going on. I'd be completely clean shaven. No DNA oh, yeah, whatsoever. No DNA, like very, very minimal to no DNA. Damn. Yeah, but now our and DNA I, is in the in the database, so that I go get out. Anyway. I go out in the woods and burn all that shit. So getting getting back to the to the to the GPS uh, stuff. Um, so what oh, would oh, you recommend oh. people do to not be so relied on it? I mean, you know, what would be your recommendation? I mean, what are you going to do differently? And now that we've kind of identified that. Fuck, man, we 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 got lost. <laughs> Not travel. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have no. it, guys. Uh, just don't travel. Have no life. Be boring, and you'll be you you'll know. Be just fine. I actually thought about possibly, I don't know, getting a map or just being better prepared and having the stuff downloaded onto my electric electronic device mm -hmm. prior to like the area, so that way it's already preloaded. Because the problem was was downloading the maps, not the actual GPS signal. Like it knew we were were. It just didn't know how to get us from point A to point B because it didn't have any of the map points. Right. Um. So I think that would be probably the thing I would do is just download the map offline, so I would have it for the area that I'm going to, especially if I know it's going to be more off the grid. And so possibly that, maybe have some paper backups because they're not now, that. Is expensive. that available in uh, on Google Maps and Apple Maps the downloading feature, or is it only available on Apple Maps? Do you know? Fuck if I know about Google. I don't use that shit. <laughs> so if you're on a droid you're probably forked <laughs> but um... i don't know i mean fuck Gosh, I, I, i'm droid sure it expert. does i'm sure it does they usually kind of try to match each other in those technologies so then no one has an advantage but uh i know on apple maps there is a download feature to download those gps uh locations and maps that you want to map out so hey i implore you uh we learned firsthand that you have to have that <laughs> downloaded because if not you don't have that wi-fi yeah they're forked and if you don't have, it would be a good idea to have a paper backup map too. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't think a paper back, backup would be a bad idea. Um, just because you never know. And it's better to have it, not need it, than to need it, not have it. So, boom. Well, listen, guys, we hope you enjoyed today's Tech Talk Tuesday or Tuesday Tech Talk, however you want to say it. Um, but don't forget to head over to thedailybm.com. That's where you can find us on all our socials and you can also find us on rumble and on youtube as well subscribe to that uh mikey you got any final thoughts and uh, final words before we get out of here yeah just remember if you're gonna kill somebody that you do your homework first to make it a little harder to get caught <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and from uh, from my co-host partner the future serial killer remember he's the one if i show up dead it was mike and with that we'll catch you guys on the flip side I do not condone that message. Uh, remember, I said it has to be a random act of violence. He winds up dead, blame his wife. Everybody have a good day. Deuces.